This is part three in our series of lectures on section 2.2 and in this lecture we're going to make use of Venn diagrams to suggest to us how to construct examples of various set relationships. So in this lecture we're going to consider two exercises and here's the first one. Give an example of non-empty sets A, B, and C with the property that C is contained in the C is a subset of the union of A with B, but the intersection of A with B is not a subset of C. So what I want you to do is put your video on pause and start drawing some pictures. Draw some Venn diagrams and try to draw some Venn diagrams um, of three sets having these two properties. And once you have such a thing, that should suggest to you a specific example that you can use in solving this particular problem. Okay, so put your video on pause and give it a try. Okay, so our in intention is to come up with a C which is contained in a union of an A and a B, A union B, and yet we want A intersect B to not be a subset of C. Okay, so those are the things we're looking for. So let's make a picture. So let's draw A and B first. Let's say they look like this. And uh, since C is supposed to be contained in the union, C has to be drawn somewhere in here. But I don't want it to be the case that A intersect B, which is here, is a subset of C. So in other words, I don't want C to contain all of this stuff here. So why don't we draw something like this? We can make this our C. So we're guaranteeing that there are certain things in A intersect B that aren't in C. So one example that might work would be something like this. We'll put one here, two, three, four, and five. That okay, so that the presence of that two would guarantee that A intersect B is not a subset of C. Okay, so what we're saying is <clears throat> one example that might work would be to take A to be the set one, two, and three. Uh, B is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And C should be uh, 3 and 4. And the picture seems to suggest that if we make that choice, then things should work. Okay, but that's not the proof. This picture is not the proof. You have to write it down formally. Um, and so I'll leave that for you now. Put your video on pause and see if you can now go back and write up the proof. Um, you can use this example or you can use some other example, uh, whichever one works. When you come back, you can compare your answer to mine. So here's my solution. I take A to B, as we said, let A equal the set 1, 2, 3, B is 2, 3, 4, 5, and C is 3, 4. Now I just simply have to verify that these two things happen. Okay, so we calculate then A union B is equal to this, and so therefore C really is a subset of that. But on the other hand, A intersection with B, A intersect B is equal to uh, 2, 3, as you can see from here. And this, is a not, and this is not a subset of C um, because it contains 2 and 2 is not an element of C. So this completes the proof. Okay, here's the other exercise that I want you to do. It says either prove true or give a counterexample to the statement that for all sets A, B, and C, if A intersect C is a subset of B intersect C, then A is a subset of B. Okay, so there's something suggestive about the assumption that A intersect C is a subset of B intersect C. It's sort of saying, well, if that's the case, then you can cross off the C's to deduce that A is a subset of B. So 
I'm not telling you if it's true or false. You have to decide, and the way you decide is you draw some Venn diagrams to try to get a sense of whether or not you believe it. If you do believe it, then you would go ahead and try to write a proof. And if you don't believe it, the Venn diagram might suggest a counterexample to it. Okay, so put your video on pause and start playing around with some Venn diagrams and see um, if you believe it's true or not. When you come back, I'll show you the Venn diagrams that I um, came up with to decide if I believe it's true or not. Okay, so we're trying to decide if A intersects C being a subset of B intersect C somehow implies that A should be a subset of B. So that's a question. We don't know the answer. We're going to play around with some pictures. So let's make a Venn diagram and see if we believe it. Okay, so let's draw some general A's and B's. So the question is, is it possible to fill in a C so that the part of A that lies in C is contained in the part of B that lies in C, yet A is not a subset of B? Well, if we just simply picked C to be this region here, well then A intersect C would be this region, and B intersect C would also be this region, and so we would have this since if two sets are equal, then certainly you can view one as being a subset of the other. But if we manage to arrange things so that there's something here um, or something here, then A wouldn't be a subset of B. Okay, so that suggests that we don't believe it. And so if we put, say, uh, one here, two here, three here, and we call this thing here C, then that should work. So in other words, what I'm suggesting is that we put um, A equal to 1, 2, B equal to 2, 3, and C equal to uh, just 2, then that should work. Okay, so the picture suggests that that's, that should work. Okay, so I guess the answer is no, we don't believe it's true, and we can provide a counterexample. So why don't you go back and um, see if you can write up a formal proof. You can use either this one or you can use something else. There are lots of other possibilities that are suggested by these pictures. And when you come back, you can see how I wrote my proof up. But remember, the picture itself has no place in your proof. The proof just consists of saying that we have a counterexample, and then you write down the counterexample, and then you verify that it works. So I'll leave you to it. Okay, so here's my proof. The proof is uh, written as follows. We say the result is false, and a counterexample is provided by choosing A to be this set, B to be this set, and C to be this set. And now I just have to verify that this happens, but this does not happen. Okay, so A intersect C and B intersect C are both this set, what we would call singleton 2. So A intersect C is a subset of B intersect C, since we have the stronger condition that they're actually equal. But A is not a subset of B, and why is A not a subset of B? Well, because uh, 1 is an element of A, but it's not an element of B. So that completes the proof.